Single Point Cutting Tool A tool or a cutter that removes material using a single cutting edge during a single stroke of movement is called the Single Point Cutting Tool. In this video, we will understand the terminology for a Single Point Cutting Tool. Single Point Cutting Tools are commonly used in lathe and shaper machines. Terminologies for a Single Point Cutting Tool this long body of the tool is called the shank of the tool, it is used to hold the tool in the tool holder. The surface adjacent to the cutting edge is called the flank. This surface is called the minor flank, and this surface is called the major flank. The surface over which the chip flows during the cutting process is called the face of the tool. Cutting edges. These edges remove material from the workpiece. This edge of the tool is called the side cutting edge, and this edge is called the end cutting edge. The point where the side cutting edge and the end cutting edge intersect is called the nose of the tool. The radius of this curvature is called the nose radius. Nose radius helps in increasing the life of the tool, and it also provides a good surface finish. The curved portion at the bottom of the tool, where the intersection of the flank and base of the tool takes place is called the heel. Apart from these terms, some other terms are used to describe the different angles. Let's see each one by one. The angle made by the side cutting edge with the shank is called the side cutting edge angle. Which is this angle? The angle made by the end cutting edge with the normal to the shank is called the end cutting edge angle. Which is this angle? The angle immediately below the nose of the tool and the line perpendicular to the base of the tool is called the end relief angle. The purpose of this angle is to avoid any drag of the tool on the job, and also to prevent rubbing of the tool on the surface which is already cut. The angle between the face of the tool and the ground end of the flank is called the lip angle of the tool. Usually, this angle is between 60 degrees to 80 degrees. The angle made by the tool face with the line parallel to the base of the tool when we measure the angle through the plane perpendicular to the side cutting edge is called the back rake angle. The angle made by the face of the tool with the line parallel to the base of the tool, measured in a plane that is perpendicular to the base of the tool and the side cutting edge of the tool is called the side rake angle. The rake angle allows the chips to flow plastically over the tool face. The rake angle of the tool is very important because it is the only angle on which the strength of the tool depends. The angle made by the flank surface and the line perpendicular to the base of the tool is called the side relief angle. I hope you have understood the terminology used for single point cutting tool. If you want to learn more from my channel, click on the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications to get all my latest videos. Also. You can help ADTW learn to reach out to more engineers like you, by sharing this video with your friends who want to understand this topic.